wherever it went. Uh huh. Oh, here it is. Try it. Here. Mm hmm. Good deal. Okay. Okay, so if we plug this one into this one, I gotta find out. I'm gonna try to get my hand down in between all this other crap. Is that it? I couldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. does not look right. I'm telling you. I bought an MFJ antenna. Uh, two meter 440. It's out there. It's weighing down. It's the one that I was going to give John. Okay. What's not right here? Oh, there it is. Get under there. Um, and uh, he sent me this and that. He said, oh, we don't send return pickups. You know. Um, I said, what? Yeah. I said, it's defective. Same day. Out of the box. No. Nah, no. Nah. So they wanted me to pay to send it back. And they would pay to send it back to me. What? Uh, this is just not right. So I said, this is not going to happen. So, took the antenna apart. Found out there were two pieces in there that weren't connected. They weren't soldered. I have no idea how it even made it through. But anyway, No, I'm thinking, should it be soldered? Is there something that goes in between there that they forgot to put in? Yeah, you're trying to figure this all out. So, you know what, I'm just going to solder it together and see how it works. Solder it together, works fine. All right. I didn't bother calling. I said, you know what, I don't know if I want to buy from them again. The antenna tuner comes in. I, oh, I needed one. They had this one. 320 bucks. Mm. It's an MFJ. Mm. All right. I order it. It comes in. And let me get a flashlight up here. See where the, the, the vinyl, you can even see it up there a little bit. That's a vinyl piece that's put over uh, the front aluminum uh, cover. Well, 
they didn't trim it. So when I, and they put the top down. So when I got the thing, the top was put down, the trim was on, it was all there. But because they didn't trim it, and this was sticking, this is being the front, you know, the, the front, the decorative plate there. Uh, when they put the top on, it was sticking up almost a quarter of an inch instead of being back or cut. So when you put the top on it, what happens is it pushes this down and it looks like that in the front. Well, that's only a matter of time that that whole thing is going to loosen up the whole front. So I take the top off it and I trimmed it to fit. So that's done. Got it all back together, got it all hooked up, plugged in the light, plugged in the light, power, power works, antenna works, switches work. They look like they're working anyway. Went to turn on the light, the light doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Well, if this is the plug in the radio, and this is the plug that goes in. I don't have one small enough. We'll use this. And this is the plug that plugs into that. So this is in the radio. This, instead of going in, we'll say, all the way to here, it only goes in like that. It's only going in about a, maybe three-eighths of an inch. There's more than a quarter of an inch still sticking out. I could probably put the camera back there and you may see it. Which means it's only the ground side of the plug. However, it shouldn't be sticking out. That should be all in. Another problem, you know? So it's just one thing after another with this company. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of dealing with them you know every time you buy something from them you got to do something to make it right because it's all the little details that they say screw it it works so what if the the name falls off or the faceplate falls off or the cover doesn't fit right or the power doesn't plug in all the way who cares it works uh, and, and, they're, and they're saying this knowing that uh, a normal ham operator is probably just going to fix it and not say anything, as I did. However, you get tired of it. When you're paying good money for something, and it's supposed to be going through quality control, everything should fit right. Now, if that plug is not fitting in all the way, okay, why? Why don't we have the right insert or the plug that goes into it? Why do we have to have something that doesn't fit? Yeah, and could easily fall out because of it, or if well, if a hot wire falls down onto it, it's going to probably hit the cover and short out anyway. It's just the ground side. However, it shouldn't be that way because you never know if it's going to fall out or stay in because it's kind of just hanging on the edge. And when you call them, you get nowhere. All right, so now I gotta take a screw. I gotta get, loosen a screw, a screw loose. A screw, a screw loose. Oh, I got a lot of them loose. Okay, let's see. Maybe uh, we can do this one. Let's see. I don't know how I put that in there. That may be a... Okay, now what I wanna do is I don't want to have to take that screw all the way out. So I'm just going to nip that a little bit. Nip it in the bud. Can I get my, my nippers? Where are they? There they are. Uh, should I use these? No, I don't want to use those. I use those for cutting wire.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is just cut a little opening on this thing. There. And there. Now, let me get my lines and pipes. Make sure it's all nice and flat. It is. It's going to take me another couple hours just to get all this shit straightened out. Let me get this up in there. There we go. Get this out of the way. Okay. Uh, I've got to go this way. Uh. Now the stiff wire is a pain he has to work with, but once you get it there, it kind of stays where you want to put it. Okay, okay, so that's on. Let's put the fuse back in. Okay, now let's see. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Okay, so why isn't this working now? Top one's still not working. Definitely looks good enough to me.